How to lower risk with the right position size. An often overlooked part of trading is deciding how much of a currency, stock, or commodity to accumulate on a deal. Traders typically select a position size at random. This might manifest as them choosing to take a larger position when they are really confident in a trade or, alternatively, choosing to take a smaller position when they are a bit less sure. The best educated or strategic process for estimating the magnitude of an investment could not, however, be this one. Similar to this, a trader shouldn't automatically choose a predetermined position size for every trade, regardless of how the deal develops, this approach to trading is likely to provide subpar results over time. What is the best approach to determine the ideal position for a trade if it is not in the investor's best interest to choose a random position size and it is not a good idea to choose a consistent size for all trades? Here are a few various approaches traders may use to choose an ideal position size that might help lower their risk. Determine the proper stop level. A trader must first comprehend the right stop level for a certain transaction before deciding on a position size. Stops shouldn't be placed at arbitrary heights either. A stop should be put in place at a point where the trader will receive the necessary information, namely that they were incorrect about the trade's direction. A stop that is set up incorrectly might be quickly activated by typical market movements. The stop level might aid a trader in assessing risk. The trader can start deciding on their position size, for instance, if the stop is 50 pips away from their entry price for a forex trade or, in the case of a stock or commodities trade, 50 cents. The amount of your account should be taken into account initially. You should only risk up to 1% to 3% of your account on a trade if you have a tiny account. If a trader has a $5,000 trading account, for instance, and stakes 1% of that account on a transaction, they stand to lose $50. This merchant may thus accept one mini lot. If the trader's stop level is reached, the trader will have lost $50, $50 multiplied by 50 pip losses on one mini lot. The trader can lose $150, 3% of the account, if they set their risk threshold at 3%. Hence, they can take three mini lots at a stop level of 50 pip. If the trader is stopped out, they will have lost $50, which is equal to 50 pip losses on three micro lots. In the stock market, taking 100 shares with a stop level of 50 cents would be considered risking 1% of your account. If the stop is reached, the transaction would have lost $50, or 1% of the account's entire value. In this instance, the trade's risk was kept to a manageable portion of the account, and the position size was adjusted to account for that risk. Several Position Sizing Methods there are numerous additional techniques that may be utilized to estimate position size for larger accounts. A user with a $500,000 account might not always want to take a risk of $5,000 or more, 1% of $500,000, on each trade. They could hold several holdings in the market, not use all of their available capital, or have liquidity issues with significant investments. A fixed dollar halt may likewise be utilized in this situation. Suppose a trader with an account of this size wishes to stake just $1,000 on a particular transaction. They can still employ the aforementioned technique. The trader can take 20 mini lots or two regular lots if the stop loss price is 50 pips away from the entrance price. The trader in the stock market might purchase 2,000 shares with a stop loss 50 cents below the entry price. The trader will only have lost the $1,000 they were prepared to lose when they entered the transaction if the stop is struck. Stop levels each day. Using a daily stop level is an additional choice for day traders that are full-time or active. A daily stop enables traders who must make split-second choices and need flexibility in their choice of position size. A daily stop is a limit on how much a trader may lose in a single day, week, or month. Traders will instantly close out any open positions and stop trading for the remainder of the day, week, or month if they lose the specified amount of capital or more. This strategy requires a trader with a successful track record. A daily stop loss for seasoned traders may be about equivalent to their daily average profit. For example, if a trader typically earns $1,000 per day, they should establish a daily stop loss that is roughly equal to this sum. This means that winnings from more than one typical trading day won't be erased by a bad day. This approach may be modified to account for trade results over the course of a week, several days, or even a month. The daily stop level gives traders who have a history of successful trading or who are very active in trading throughout the day the ability to decide on position size as needed during the day while still maintaining overall risk control. 
By keeping an eye on position sizes and the risk exposure each position is producing, the majority of traders who use a daily stop will still keep risk to a very tiny proportion of their account on each trade. In addition to employing adequate position sizing, which is defined by the risk of the transaction and the balance of their overall account, a rookie trader with limited trading experience may use a daily stop-loss approach. The Conclusion Traders must first decide their stop level and how much of their account they are ready to risk every trade in order to get the right position size. They can compute the size of their optimum position once we have identified these, 